Today we're going to look at what it takes to build your first garden. So this is a beginner's garden lesson. If you look, I'm starting with lawn. I did put a fence up because there are animals in our area. But if you look, there's grass on the ground and it's pretty thick. So the soil's rich here. I'm not really worried about the composition of the soil. Things will grow well here. <clears throat> but I've got to stop the grass from growing. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab a couple of pieces of cardboard. The cardboard I have peeled all the tape off of because when you're making a garden, you have to understand that you're building your soil. Everything you put in the garden is going to become your soil and that's going to be your soil for years to come. If the cardboard is thick, you can use it one layer thick. If it's thin, you want to use the cardboard box by just leaving it folded. So this is fairly thick. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just cut this box and I'm gonna spread it on the ground over here by the fence. And I'm gonna layer cardboard over it, making sure that I overlap the seams. So there's no place where grass could go. So this is fairly thin, so I'm just going to place it right over the seams. And I'm going to place this one over the seams. And you get the idea. You're going to layer it with about a six or seven inch overlap over your entire garden area. You can see it doesn't take that long to do this. Once you've accomplished that, what you want to do is you want to cover this with things to hold it down. I can use old uh, wood and hold that down, it'll rot in, or I can use wood chips. Wood chips are preferable, but if you're going to use wood chips, what you want to get is wood chips that are composted. They've got to be about three years old. So your wood chips should have worms in them. So here's a little critter to show you. And you take the wood chips and broad broadcast them. You want your wood chips to be about an inch to two inches thick. You can't use cedar chips because they're high in acid. You can't use one year old chips because they'll kill your plants. These wood chips are going to weigh down the cardboard. The cardboard is going to decompose and become part of the garden. And the chips are going to become part of the garden over the next two to three years. The next thing you want to do, so when this is all covered and about an inch to two inches thick, you want to cover that with a material to keep the sunlight up. So I've got a couple of choices that I really like. I've tried lawn clippings, but they mold and they retain too much water. Um, it, they don't work out well. You'd have to put them really thin. Instead, I like straw. So straw is the stalks of wheat without the seeds on them, so you're not going to have any opportunist weeds growing in your garden. The other choice is hay. But you got to be careful with your hay. This is old hay. It's been in the barn for about five years. And I take that hay and spread it about one to two inches thick over the whole garden. You can see that goes quickly too once you develop a technique for it. Now, the hay is going to keep the sun from taking the moisture out. The rest is going to slowly decompose. So you're going to have nice worm castings under there. In my garden last summer, <clears throat> I only had to water twice because it retains all the water and no weeds grow. So this is a very simple way to start a garden. You can do it anywhere. And that's all we're going to do with this. We're going to go move into the garden now and take a look at what it looks like a couple, maybe three weeks after you've done that process. And we'll try planting a plant. Okay. Oh, do you want to...